Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over how to use Canva to design phone cases that you can sell on Merch by Amazon. Right, so the next thing to do is to have a quick look at what seems to be popular uh, in terms of phone cases that are selling really, really well on Amazon. And what we see straight away is loads of floral cases there. Uh, for instance, this one has over 3,500 feedback that is selling a lot of phone cases well into the thousands per month. And the BSR is amazing as well. We see another one there with a marble background and an inspirational quote. We see marble, we see inspirational quote and floral background. There. Florals, texts and purples, lilacs and marble and so it's good to just have a very general idea of what seems to be popular um, but one quick thing I wanted to mention is that sometimes you'll find the mix of what comes up is FBI meaning it's not much by um, much by Amazon products specifically but it's still really good information so if you want to see only merch by Amazon products. This is a very handy tool that I use for research. It's completely free and it's um, by Merch Informer of which I've done a video about Merch Informer in the past so you can look back at my last video and you'll be able to see how I use Merch Informer in my designing for Merch by Amazon. But coming back to Merch Research, it's a free uh, Chrome extension which you can download and what it does is that it's got all the merch products um, incorporated in it so you've got all these products that we sell on merch by amazon and you can select by product and then you can come here and select the country you want to look up so i normally look at the u.s marketplace because 90 percent of my sales come from the u.s anyway so i keep it as u.s and today we're looking at phone cases tool that brings you to a page like this where you notice it's purely a merch by Amazon page. So all these products we're looking at right now, you notice it's no FBA uh, marked products. That means these are all merch by Amazon. So we start to see florals and some text. We see floral, just a canvas covered in flowers. That's wildflowers. We see a Bible verse with a black background. And we see another one there with floral leaves for autumn and all the rest of it. So just a quick look like this, um, round about a few pages, I'd say. Probably don't stop at page one, I'd go to page two to three it gives you a really good idea of what customers on match by amazon are looking for so when it comes to designing you're not just doing random <laughs> designs right so what we want here to be able to start creating is to come to the right hand corner i'm going to just close that for a minute and click on create a design then custom dimensions comes up and you want to input the dimensions for the phone cases and where I was able to get those dimensions is what already we've been given by Amazon on here. Um, when you come to resources, the best place to start is Match by Amazon homepage. You click on resources and it brings you onto this page where you click on download uh, product templates, which brings you into these products. So here you're able to see and download all the artwork dimensions. So we're going to scroll all the way down here to the phone cases because that's what we're interested in today. And this is where I was able to get my dimensions for designing today. So it brings us on to a brand new canvas where we can now get started creating our phone case today. The next thing to do is to add a background. I will be using this uh, floral design here and I'm going to use this handy little tool here to turn it into a portrait because it matches the shape of a phone case other than using the landscape. I like to bring it to the left hand corner there so then I can stretch it out to fit onto the canvas and then I want to center it. Now canvas is 
amazing it does give us some guidelines on centering our designs and things like that and you can see the intersection of the horizontal and the vertical line means that is actually centered so we want to add a few elements in there and when we're looking at what's popular on amazon we now taste that our floral designs are very popular um cases with quotes say inspirational quotes and all of that are really popular and what i'm gonna do is just come back onto elements and type in quotes just to see what canva has for us but just to mention this is not um the exhaustive place to find your graphics um i'd actually discourage us from using graphics and the vectors and elements provided by canva entirely for all your designs because then it means everybody else who is accessing the same will have similar designs and that will not uh, help you to stand out in the market so i am only using this for demonstrating this particular design it's not a place i'd come to for my artwork to be honest and i'll do another video just to give you guidelines on where i get my very unique artwork and how i combine them with all different elements and vectors to make it unique to myself so I'm going to just look for a um, inspirational quote that could go with floral border here and I'm just going to go for good vibes and again this is not something I'm taking forever to think through this is just to demonstrate how you can combine all different elements um, a graphic and a background to make a really unique design so that kind of looks all right but it's not complete yet there's too much um, white space around here i could play around with this a little bit more just to show you how to use canva for all different things i'm going to just play around with more of the elements here um let's see we could probably just to make it very unique to ourselves just in case someone else decides to come in use canva for a similar design we could stand out by adding a few bits and bobs um you could change that to something different and notice that when i point onto the elements it does actually tell you what's free and what's pro so for example actually i'm going to use a free one just so you know that uh, there's a lot of freebies on this that you can actually use uh, the next thing i'm going to do cross niching is important and sunflowers are a niche in themselves they're very popular with a lot of people let's see what we could actually add how about we just add this beautiful sunflower in there somewhere just to make this a bit of a fun design could do that let's try putting this in the background because there's a way to play with this you come here and we position this to the back of the design doesn't look amazing so i'm gonna come back here and undo it and that could still work it's a playful way of having a sunflower on the text i mean that's not excellent i've not spent much time on it i'm just kind of showing you how to play with the different elements something else i wanted to show you before we proceed is you can group different uh, design elements so that if you have to move them then you're not struggling to you're not actually ruining the original design you can still move your elements so the final look of that little design is what you see right there right so i'm going to quickly just do another very very simple way of doing your font case where it doesn't involve too much it's just really a fancy background and can find one that i recently used um as you can see there's all these different backgrounds that canva gives us i want to search under nature and see what comes up quite like using those and this according to canvas designers is white clouds and blue sky brilliant with some blues and lilacs and you know highlights of pink just like we saw that's very very popular right so um i have already found a good quote that i can add on to this uh to complete my design uh we found on amazon that um having a background with lilacs and pinks and pebbles and all of that that's a really popular background and an inspirational quote to go with it um 
which matches some of the background colors is amazing so i will center that and if you remember uh just a short while ago we did say um canva is amazing at helping us to center our design so that's centered uh, following those guidelines of the pink lines the centered design would go very well with an iphone just because of the where the cameras are located on iphones but if i was designing this for samsung uh, from past experience um, i would bring this a tad lower just because there isn't that much canvas here to work with the cameras on samsung stead to be a little bit lower and this is what i'm talking about so the cameras are a little bit lower compared to um iphone so the center design is fine for an iphone but with a samsung it will be a little bit way up here and it will leave too much canvas room here which will be uh it won't look right uh just to show you the finished artwork that's the look of the finished design and i do like to click on the different uh phone preview the models just to kind of see how that comes up and that to me it looks just fine so this is on a samsung and if you look at the previews on a different models i think we're good to go and then obviously you set your pricing and you are good to go i normally zoom that in just so i can be able to preview but i'm gonna put it back on to 125 so yeah that's a finished work and i hope you enjoyed this video and I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.